outside one courthouse. WGN investigative reporter Lourdes Duarte walks you through that video. Lourdes. Yeah, we'll get to that video in just a second, but let me give you some background. It all begins with the Cook County Jail. It has always been considered a hot spot for COVID-19. As many as 12 people have died after testing positive there. So because there is a direct link between the jail and the courts, the pressure is on to follow guidelines and keep courtrooms COVID free. One way to do that is to have remote hearings, but that's not always happening. Black Lives Matter. Can you put that on the camera? A short video clip shows the line to get inside the Harrison and Kedzie court on Wednesday morning. It isn't like this every day, and there are signs outside with COVID guidelines, but complaints about how judges are handling the pandemic are rolling in. Each judge is making different rules about some of the ways that COVID is handled, uh, whether it's whether people have to wear masks when they appear in court. That's the complaint Sarah Stout with Chicago Appleseed, which fights to improve courts, has been hearing again and again. She says there are other issues too. Whether or not defendants need to appear in person or whether they can use Zoom to get into court. So let's take you inside the courtroom. A sketch made just today shows you what it looks like during the pandemic. In this case, the judge isn't wearing a mask, but he is behind plexiglass. Another sketch shows you someone lowering their mask to testify. So you can see many proceedings are happening in person and people are showing up despite an order just this week by the chief judge. It says all matters should be handled by video conference, except in extreme extraordinary or compelling circumstances. It's not clear if that was the case Wednesday when this video was shot, but Sarah argues that perhaps the chief judge's order needs to be clear. It's all the same county. It's all the same jail and it's all so it should have all the same rules uh, and we really do need those rules to be clear and we need them to be enforced. So we did reach out to the chief judge. His spokesperson tells me uh, he is taking the pandemic very seriously. And when people show up in court, they do have to allow them access to justice. Meanwhile, the chief judge's office has had its share of COVID cases. 17 judges so far, about 5% of them have already tested positive as well as nearly 200 employees. So mm. we'll see if this leads to some Any changes. changes. Yeah, yeah. Well, so that they all are streamlined, right? Mm -hmm. Thanks, Lourdes.